Hi everyone, welcome to Living a Balanced Life with Julio. My name is Julia Dupuku, I'm a registered nurse and a diabetes educator. On today's episode, um, we're going to talk about eight tips to help us prevent the flu or um, eight tips to help us stop um, ourselves from giving the flu to other people around us. Um, as you know, the flu virus is around all year round, but the flu season starts um, around October to March during the cold uh, winter season. So I thought it would be a good time for us to talk about some tips to help us prevent ourselves from getting sick or prevent others around us from getting sick. Um, of course, the flu is caused by the influenza virus, and this virus mutates every year. That means that every year they change. So the vaccine that worked on the viruses last year will not work on the viruses this year. This is why it's important for us to get the flu shot every year, or the flu vaccine every year. The flu vaccine comes in two forms. It comes in um, inhalation, and it comes in, um, in the injection. So inhalation is a nasal spray that your doctor can give it to you, or the injection is... Um, it's, um, you know the shot that you get um, at different various places of course in Canada you can get them at Shoppers Drug Mart, Walmart or you can go and talk to your doctor you can get it uh, at the doctor's office having said that the flu um, vaccine is made with egg protein so if you're someone that have egg allergy it's very important that you don't get your flu shot in these areas that I talk about so go to your healthcare provider so your doctor your nurse and let them give you the flu shot there because then they can monitor you uh, know what amount to give you and they can monitor you if you have any um, adverse uh, reaction where right? they can help you treat it if you get it somewhere from Walmart or um, shoppers if that happens they might not be able to help you right away they still have to call like the, um, the ambulance to take you to the hospital so it's important that if you have egg allergy that you don't get your flu shot at, um, at, um, at those um, stores you get it at a, a natural healthcare um, place um, so that's number one so number two of course of the uh, ways to prevent the flu is uh, disinfecting so you can buy any disinfecting uh, material that you like um, just make sure that you're following the instructions on the labels on the uh, on the product to make sure you're disinfecting well so things that we touch most of the time we need to disinfect that like your doorknobs your iPad your phones or everything that you are touching constantly needs to be disinfected because if you have the flu virus or someone have the flu virus and touches it then that's the way of spreading the flu virus um, to yourself or to others so making sure that we're disinfecting and disinfecting properly um, number three is making sure that we are keeping the air around us clean so keeping the air around us clean means that if we're sneezing we sneeze into our sleeve or coughing we're coughing into our sleeve or if you have tissue we use the tissue we don't cough into our hands or sleeves into our hands because when you do that you get the virus on your hands and anything that you touch gets in, uh, gets infected with it and then anyone that touches it can um, get it that way so making sure you're keeping your air clean uh, another way of doing that is making sure if you're sick you stay home because if you're sick and you're out and about um, uh, you know, going to the grocery stores and going to your know, workplace, all of that, you can get everybody around you infected. So making sure that if you're sick, you stay home and you get well before you return to your uh, normal routine activities. Um, number four is making sure that we're doing a good hand hygiene. Um, Hand hygiene is very important. It can prevent us from getting the flu about um, 60%, right? So it's important that we do good, clean, uh, good hand hygiene. So when you're washing your hands with soap and water, you wash in between your um, your fingers, you wash under your nails for those that have long nails. If you're wearing jewelry, take them off and wash underneath them to make sure you're getting rid of all the viruses. If you don't have access to soap and, um, and water, let's say a workplace or wherever, you can use the hand sanitizers. Of course, the, hand, the, uh, the uh, sanitizers, when you use them, you do the same thing. You put them um, all over your arm and then you leave it to dry. Don't wipe it off because if you wipe it off, it doesn't do. Um, it doesn't get the job done. It needs to dry on your hand and then that means it's uh, disinfected properly and then it gets rid of the virus on your hands. Of course, if you... If you're washing your hands to know that you're doing a good hand hygiene, make sure that you are singing the happy birthday song in your head um, two times, right? So sing it to end two times. That makes sure that you're getting the, um, you're washing your hands for about 40 seconds. That's the, And that's a good length to get rid of all the bacteria and viruses that's on your hands. So that's another way of um, preventing ourselves from getting the uh, spread of the flu. Um, of course, number five is making sure that you're eating high fiber foods. So High fiber foods help us boost our immune system. It helps us um, um, fight infection better. So when you um, including um, the 
the high fiber food which includes your grains and starches, your fruit, your um, your uh, protein foods like your uh, your plant protein like nuts and beans and lentils. All of that have vitamin A, uh, vitamin C and E, and this help us keep our immune system strong and help us prevent infection. So making sure that you're eating high fiber food, grains and starch are high fiber fruit, um, or vegetables have fiber in it. It will help you stay regular. It prevents you um, um, from getting other conditions including heart disease and diabetes and all of that. It helps you manage that and it helps you prevent, um, stay strong and prevent um, you get from getting the influenza um, during this winter season. Of course, number um, six is exercise. When we exercise, our, our, our blood is circulating um, white blood cells, which are the cells that fight infection around faster. So when you are exercising, you're doing your body a favor, you are boosting your immune system, you are helping to um, um, manage a lot of conditions, right? So when you exercise, not only is it good for your heart and uh, managing your diabetes and all of that, it helps keep your immune system up to par to help you get uh, from getting the influenza. Of course, the Health Canada recommend that you do 150 minutes minimum, right? So if you're doing 150 minutes throughout the winter months, that will help keep your immune system up to par to help you uh, fight um, um, the flu. So of course, getting 30 minutes, five days a week will help you meet the minimum. Getting 20 minutes, um, seven days a week will help you meet the minimum. And if you can, if you're someone that cannot do that 20 minutes or 30 minutes or in one block, of course, as long as you're doing 10 minutes together, it helps come towards the exercise goal. So exercise is a good way to help us um, fight infection and keep us healthy through the winter months. Um, number seven is making sure that you, if you smoke, if you're someone that smoke, that you quit smoking and if you haven't quit smoking don't give up on um, the idea of quitting smoking because um, when you smoke it helps weaken your immune system when you smoke um, you, you have uh, you're more um, easier to get like respiratory conditions which influenza is part of right so when you do smoke all the chemicals from the smoke um, uh, destroys pretty much your respiratory um, tract and all the things that help you prevent um, infection are all being um, weakened so it's important that if you are someone that smoke you can start um, whatever you're at now just reduce it a little bit to a point where you stop completely because that will help do a number for your health it will help you stay healthy um, uh, and prevent a lot of uh, condition including respiratory um, cardiac disease and diabetes and all of that right so smoke quitting smoking or working to uh, towards quitting smoking is a good uh, way to keep us staying healthy number eight is sleep when we sleep our body produces, our body's healing itself. It, uh, our body is able to function. Our immune system is boosted up. So sleep is important. If you want to prevent yourself from getting the flu this season, make sure that you're getting um, enough um, restful sleep. And sleep um, for adults, making sure you're getting seven to nine hours is um, a good um, a good amount to sleep that helps you stay healthy. If you if you have children, make sure that your kids are sleeping anywhere between nine to, um, to 11 hours. That's Health Canada recommendation to help us all stay healthy and help us um, stay healthy through these winter months and stay uh, healthy all year round. So those are the eight tips that um, can help you um, to prevent yourself from getting the flu and prevent others around you from getting the flu. Because when someone that is a vulnerable person, meaning a person that has um, chronic diseases, so people that have diabetes, that have um, heart disease, that have um, respiratory problems like asthma and um, congestive heart failure, all of that. People that have these kind of chronic illnesses are vulnerable climbing. If they get the flu, it can lead to death for them. Like it's that serious. If um, someone is um, over age 65 and up, of course, um, we recommend that they do some of these tips and to get the flu shot to prevent themselves from getting sick because the, the flu can cause um, uh, serious illness for them and can even lead to death for them. Um, for some people so, so these are some of the tips um, that I have for you this uh, winter season um, of course bundled up do your best don't spread the flu around wash your hands practice good sneezing and coughing etiquette and that will help all of us stay healthy throughout this winter months <music>